Hey guys, welcome back. We got another video for you guys. You know, we had lobster season coming up. Uh, mini season opens this Wednesday and Thursday. And then of course you have general season that opens August 6th. So we know everybody likes to come down to the Keys and South Florida in general to pick up some bugs. And we thought we'd give you some tips and tricks and kind of reflect on a couple of the videos that we shot during the last couple of years. Um, so one of our first tips is going to be these snares. You probably you probably seen them before, but this is not something that everybody uses. And you can see they're not always the best way to catch the lobster. I know that the net and tickle stick system works really well, but we have just we really this love really using these. This is really great for snares. getting in those like really tight spots, especially when the lobsters are like deep in. Right. Like it works just like a tickle stick. You can you can see here lobsters way back up in there but instead of having to tickle the lobster out and then get them to go into a net which by then nine times out of ten they just kind of shoot off in the other direction anyways mm -hmm. you can get a hold of them while they're still sitting in their little hole it does take a bit of practice you can see here um, one of their friends from pennsylvania she's you know got the snare in her hand and she's gonna give it a go here she comes in a bit at an angle so it was a little bit difficult for her to try and get around him and you can see here yeah, you can he just see. shoots off it's kind of like a game of operation you got to get yeah. it around him without like irritating him too much because you tap him too much he's just going to shoot off here she is again giving it another try kind of coming in at another weird angle but there she goes still got him so justin comes down and grabs Snatches him, him. <laughs> But I mean, this is one of her first times actually catching the lobster, and so it can be just as simple as that. You'll see here sometimes we'll, we'll miss a little bit, like right here. Didn't quite get on them the first time, but once you get around them, it works pretty well. I like that it really just, once you cinch down on them, they're like really not going to go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, there's times you can throw one lobster in one hand and then grab the grab another with a snare. You can see we're around here with the pups. I want to get the fish they turn it for a couple more years. <laughs> um, so another one of our tips is beginning of season, FWC is out in force. If there's one day out of the year that you're going to get stopped, it's going to be during mini season or right during the beginning of uh, the regular lobster season. Um, they're stopping at most boat ramps, they'll stop you while you're out there. We actually got stopped last year and we hadn't even gotten any lobsters or anything. Yeah, that was, and I don't even think that was during opening week. It was like no, it was a couple it was weeks second in. day of mini season. Oh, it was? Yeah. Okay. okay. But, yeah, they're out there. They will be checking you, so make sure that your gauge is right. Make sure that you're only taking legal lobster. License is current. Yeah, licenses are really important. They will be checking those. And for the most part, there's quite a few little distinct rules just for the keys, especially like Monroe County. For example, you're not allowed to dive at night during mini season, but you are allowed to dive at night during regular season. Um, you're also not allowed to take lobster out of Penny Camp, which we just call the park. Um, during mini season, but you are during regular season. So if you're going to be in any of these areas, make sure you check the rules. Make sure you're just doing everything the right way because this is the time that they're out and making sure you're doing things right. Yeah, each area has their own little bit picky thing. Mm -hmm. um, another really important thing, uh, especially because of how crazy it gets down here during lobster season, is the dive flag. Make sure it's really visible, make sure you got it up. Of course it's required by law, but it's also really important to keep people safe. Um, every year we have a couple people that get run over um, just because they swim too far from their boat, or someone that's driving just doesn't pay attention to the dive flag, so it's a really good and important thing to keep in mind. So you can see here, we've been, been getting quite a few lobster, and some of them are on the short side. We're, we're throwing those back, but I mean, for the most part, you gotta pick through them, find the right ones. Definitely scout before you go. That's another tip that we have for exactly, you. Exactly, is you, you want to find these spots that are absolutely loaded with lobster. Um, and you wanna find them before opening day. 
most times we go out about a week before, maybe a couple days before opening, and we will be marking a couple of spots that have a lot of lobster. They move a bit, but from the time that we scout to the opening day, we usually find some spots that still have them. To go along with that tip, uh, we tell you to get a head start. Sure, everybody likes to sleep in, but if you want to get to your spot that you had scouted and you found that had lobster, make sure you get there first. Um, a lot of these places you can start lobstering as soon as the sun comes up, so that's when I'd shoot to be at these spots. If you're rolling in around 10, 11 o'clock. Everybody's already out there. Yeah, everybody's already out there and they, it's pretty likely that your spot's already been hit by maybe some local that knew to get there first. So. That's something, I mean, I, I've heard people that go as far as to, they'll spend the night on their boat the night before to make sure that they're there first, first opening light. morning. But that's a little extreme for me. No thanks. Especially since we have the spots that we know that we go to that are like... Yeah, it's good to have quite a few spots in your, in your GPS so that if something's not working out or if someone's on one of your spots, you can always go somewhere else. last tip that we have for you guys is if you can try diving a bit deeper than the you know the accustomed 10 foot area diving deeper is it's something we start doing a couple weeks in the season a lot of our shallow spots everybody dives the 5 10 foot stuff but once you start getting past 15 feet uh, you can find some lobster that haven't been messed with even after a couple weeks into season. During mini season, you won't see that as much if people don't get to them all during those two days. But during general season, if you're, if you're a couple weeks in or maybe even a couple months in, most of the shallow stuff's already been picked over. So go look for some deeper spots. Some big lobsters tend to also hang on at deeper spots just yeah, because we find they're not messed with there. We find some of our bigger lobster in those deeper spots. There's less pressure on them too, so they just have to hang out. Yep. So those are our tips. I uh, hope you enjoy the video and just really get to see how this snare is working. Um, hope you, bugs, yeah. yeah. Hope you guys get to you know just have a really successful mini season, really successful regular season, and go out there and have some fun. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. We also have a lot of really good spear fishing content. We're always out there trying to get something else, so give us a follow, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you guys out there. Stay safe. Have fun.